The number of obese New Zealanders has now reached the one million mark. That's astonishing. Uh, and more than 220,000 Kiwis have diabetes. Every day, 50 more people are diagnosed with the disease. And an expert says much more needs to be done. Dr Jeremy Krebs joins us now from Wellington with a special event on this morning to teach kids more about diabetes. Good morning to you, Jeremy. First of all, a million obese. How on earth did that happen? That's disgraceful. It's frightening, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it, it? It just shows that despite uh, the amount of education that's gone into uh, teaching people what causes obesity, that uh, even with that education, people find it so difficult to make the changes they uh, know they need to make. Would it be fair to say, without being glib, that obesity is, is almost a hereditary thing? The, the, the lifestyle choice, the food choice, the sort of a sedentary lifestyle is kind of passed down and it's not broken? Absolutely. There's, there's no question. We know now that uh, so much of our weight is determined by our genes, controlling our appetite and other components of our, our body's metabolism, uh, that people uh, that inherit those genes are just fighting a losing battle all the time, particularly if it's left just to them to try and do it by themselves. OK, let's talk about the diabetes specifically. Those numbers are equally alarming. Why is that rising? Is that just down to, to our diet and lifestyle? Absolutely. Uh, Unfortunately, the uh, diabetes epidemic is just the tsunami that's following on from the obesity epidemic. And uh, we're really just starting to see the tip of that uh, uh, coming through now. And it's just going to get worse and worse unless we fundamentally do something dramatic to change the rates of obesity. Do something dramatic like what? I mean, there's been a lot of talk about putting tax on, uh, 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 taxes on unhealthy foods and so on. Does that need to come in? Do we need to be told this is too expensive to eat and that's the only way we're going to sort of keep our diets under control? Yeah, I, I think that it needs to be a, a very global approach that we take. Uh, it's not just one thing that's actually going to make a difference here. Yes, there's no question that people need to uh, you know, do their own thing and make their own efforts, uh, but it's a, a bigger than that. It's a community problem. We need community solutions, but we also need the government to step up as well. And I think there's no doubt that all the work that's going into increasing uh, or promoting physical activity and dietary change is brilliant, uh, but at the end of the day we're going to need some regulations around the food industry uh, and uh, at some point hopefully the politicians are going to come on board and realise that needs to happen. That, that's the thing, it seems legislation has to come in because it, while we're hearing it and you're saying it's a, it's a brilliant message, a brilliant campaign, we all know it, it just doesn't appear to be getting cut through and those numbers, uh, nearly a quarter of the country obese would support that. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. You know, I think it's, it's a no-brainer to me that we need to make healthy food cheaper. And, and, for example, taking GST off fruit and vegetables is a brilliant way of doing that. And we need to make unhealthy food uh, harder to come by, harder to get for those people that are challenged. And, uh, you know, the obvious uh, target there is sugar-sweetened beverages. It's not a completely lost cause, though. If you are overweight, you're obese, and you get to the point where you've got diabetes, that's a ship that can be turned around. It doesn't have to be a lifelong thing. Absolutely, absolutely. There's, there's a, plenty of data which shows that uh, even relatively modest weight losses uh, can reverse the early stages of diabetes and certainly delay uh, the onset of diabetes for many years. So it's definitely not a lost, lost cause at all. Just finally, just really, really quickly, Jeremy, what's this actually costing the government, these sort of uh, numbers with obesity and diabetes a year? Well, look, I, I don't have the figures on that exactly, but it's, uh, it's a huge amount of the health budget uh, which goes towards uh, the consequences of obesity and diabetes particularly. You only have to think about the cost of renal dialysis uh, to uh, show the examples of that. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much for your time. Dr Jeremy Krebs joining us there from Wellington. Welcome.